Hey guys, welcome to a review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Voilander 40mm 1.4 and why you should buy it. Before we get started, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to our sponsor. <laughs> okay, we don't have any, we just started. <laughs> if any sponsors are out there, please give us money. Please, Squarespace, we need a website. Please. This lens is actually being used with a Leica N6 which there are reviews on this, not many of them, but most of them have to do with uh, mounting it to a Sony AR7 II, AR7 III. That's why I wanted to make this review because this lens is really meant for a film camera. I want to show you why. And also why it works great on a digital camera such as the Sony or any other ones you're going to mount it to. So I'll show you that as well. One of the reasons I like this lens is the price point. This is a 1.4, which is a pretty fast lens, and it starts at, what was it, $400? I think that's what I bought, is that, is that it? $400. $400, dollars there you go. So that's a pretty awesome price for a 1.4. Um, usually you see lenses that are 1.8 around that price. Um, so being a 1.4, that gives you a great advantage whenever you're shooting in low light situations, especially if you're shooting film. It's unlike digital, you can't change the ISO whenever you want. Shooting with this lens is a beauty. Personally, of the size, if you can see with the camera. Some people tend to not buy this lens for one main reason, and that is because the Leica M6 or other Leicas do not have the 40 millimeter frame lines when you're looking through the viewfinder. So it makes it a little bit harder to like frame your shot. So I have found like others that 35 millimeter frame lines are actually not a bad thing because you really are looking at what you're getting. So some people you may want to crop it, um, for others they don't care. I personally, when I see my photos, whenever this comes out of the lens and I'm shooting with a 35 millimeter frame lines, um, I actually have no issue with it. Sometimes I'll have to do a little adjusting, cropping something that was on the edge of the frame, but nothing where I would say that my composition was all off. When it comes to digital photography, if you're shooting, for example, I shoot on Sony cameras as well. I bought an adapter that you, it's really small. It's like this part right here. I bought it on Amazon for $13. That allows you to mount the M mount to an E mount. Um, so whenever you come to shooting with this, this is a full manual lens, which means your camera does not focus for you. You'll have to focus it yourself. But with the Sony system, it's very easy to focus because of focus peaking to it. So it's not so bad to do manual focusing anymore with this lens. And the fact that you hold it like this and you focus the ring using your thumb or your finger is pretty cool. So whether you're shooting film, or digital, I highly recommend this lens. It has a great price point, great build quality, and great images. So I hope you found this video informative, and if there's any questions you may have, just comment below and we'll answer them for you. Thanks for watching.